Is there a possibility that a person changes her face each time she meets different people? Quiet, talkative, casual, observative, self-contained. How can a person act totally differently in front of different people? Are humans born to be this? Do we all wear a mask when walking out of our home? Or is it the truth that those masks are part of the real us? Some people just don't wear masks. Or we don't know whether he puts on a mask to earn a living or he takes off the mask of himself to do it. Though they may need a mask to earn a living. Some are not afraid of showing themselves to the public or we don't know whether they are wearing a mask to show these. The good image, bad, or even worse. However, what about kids? Are they aware of the existence of masks? But that's nothing, because don't say a man. The second metropolis in the world, London, can also have different faces, being grand and wrecked at the same time. Wearing different masks can be explained as playing different roles in different situations. It's after you observe the situation and then consider what you should do about it. To be honest, I'm not that brave at talking in front of a new group of people, especially when they are all native speakers while I'm not. But that was the first time we met the actors for our fiction. I just tried not to keep silent that much. At least listen to their talking and be part of it. Because I don't want them to feel like I'm indifferent to them. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. I was in the role of the film production group, the art department, and it was our first meeting. So I should take the responsibility for that. Even I was not confident in what I said at all. If the group was bigger and I held less responsibility for that, I might just act as a wordless, transparent person. Oh, I put that, that, like, here. That, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Once, but not normal. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's it. And then you're gonna so I did that. Yes, it's not the one that's in the pattern. It's the one that you put actual from dry. Uh huh. So I cooked it.
Keeping a connection with others brought me something new this year. I have two friends. We are from the same place, China. We played mahjong till late night sometimes, which is a traditional card game in China. Staying with them makes me comfortable, and I feel spirited every time we meet together. Even just after suffering from the stress of the homework, one day they suddenly made a bet with me, asking me to try to stop tearing my nails for a month and to take a picture of the fingers every day. And send to them. If I lose, I need to pay them a three-star Michelin star meal, which I had searched on Google, and the price is three hundred pounds per person. Thanks to this. I never dared to touch my nails for those thirty days, which is the longest time I tried to get rid of this worst habit with me. The bad habit that I wanted to quit most since I started the kindergarten. Finally, I won, and I escaped from the six hundred pounds bill. My nails became much better. I felt happy with it, but just sadly, since April, I started tearing them again. It seems maybe relying on others is not a long-lasting solution if we want to change ourselves. I talked with different people about this. Dunson said he did wear a mask. And he had already got used to wearing it. He thought the fake faces are necessary, but another one, Yoyo, disagreed. Why is mask belonging to a bad world? Why do you say it's fake? I just think they are the original us. Shaped by different surroundings, we meet. At least I admit at this. I think this is quite right, because I don't have the same feelings for every people. Then how can the ways I present be the same? Just like Alanda Bottom talked about love. One can easily attract a person who you are not interested in confidently, but once you are attracted by someone, you are feeling so inferior that you wish you have all the perfect qualities on you for that person. Jiao also agree. She just held the belief that we are exactly shaped by others, and we cannot be without others. I was disappointed. 
because I really wanted to try a life without connections with others. But that night, I went back to my home, started taking a shower, deciding to take my time to use the conditioner for the first time. Since it was bought one month ago, unluckily, the oven ring rang. That I forgot I had said it before going to the bathroom. With my naked body and a head of sticky form, and three hundred and thirty-five inches walking, at that time I was just thinking, "Okay, fine." Maybe we still need connection. At least a person be aside could help you turn off the oven alarm. It's too oppressive. Mask may not be a good word for me, but I don't think different faces are bad things. They are like the explorations. Of someone to figure out a relationship with others. Different faces determine how their connection goes on in the following time. And they are the reflections of how they see and feel about others. No matter whether we are putting on different masks of our own accord, or wearing them involuntarily, as long as we are comfortable with the situation. After we wear a mask, then each mask on our faces is reasonable. It is not important to struggle whether we must build the connection with others or not. Staying alone or Having to find someone to accompany with. Just stay comfortable as what you want to be, and that makes one of the meanings of a mask. Blind, blind.